Hello everybody, Shadow here, and welcome back to Trails of Gold Steel 2. Uh, we have a chest here. I don't... Elliot, Emma, Milliam, Sarah. Oh, wow. That's a weird combination. Um, okay. Adjust party. Um, okay. Sarah, Milliam, Elliot. There we go. Okay, here we go. Open the chest. Let me show you why I'm called the Purple Lightning. Okay. Honestly, I think this is going to be pretty easy. These guys are level 68. Cut! I don't know why I threw up <laughs> Elliot's. It's healing again. That was unnecessary. <laughs> I really got to change that back because I, I am almost never going to use um, that. There we go. Ta-da! <laughs> and now we've unlocked uh, Overdrive for a bunch of other characters. Cool. Lights out for them. Good work. <laughs> Naturally. Thunder Vortex can now be used. Cool. Overcame the trial. Yay! Did I get anything else? Sick. Nope. Okay. Um. <laughs> let's set our party back to normal. <laughs> okay. Um. Who did I? Laura. Um, there we go. All right, that should be good. Uh, I mean, I might have to change it more. Um, if we find more, there, there should be one box, I think, over on the trail to the mine. I think, but um, I'm not sure if we'll go do that just yet. Okay, so there should be... Yeah, so the Igna Shrine is over there, but we're not gonna do that just yet. Um... Okay. So let's go get this over here. That one's gonna be a pain. Careful. Is it really? I really doubt it. Kenneth! Huh? Reen, is that you? Kenneth! So this is where you've been. One of Baron Linklord's sons, is he not? Oh man, I'm so glad to see you're safe. What have you been doing all this time? I haven't been here long, but have I got some stories for you. I left the Academy as soon as the war broke out, of course. I guess I could have gone back home after that. But I didn't really feel like it. So instead, I've just been wandering between places, unaffected by the war, living off the fish I catch. <laughs> I can't think of many who could lead the happy life of a fisherman during the, during the time of a civil war. <laughs> Gutsy move. Uh, anyway, I'm glad we ran into you. Would you be willing to join us? We could really use your help. Annabelle's been worried sick about you this whole time, too. Rain explained to Kenneth that they were flying around in the courageous and looking for students to fight by their side. Huh. Really? Never would have guessed you were the ones on the courageous. Hmm. Well, it's an appealing offer, and I am pretty worried about Annabelle. But I can't right now. There's something I need to do here first. What's that? In a nutshell, something really important fell into the river. Which would be pretty bad in and of itself. But a fish just so happened to be swimming by and swallowed it. I want to catch that fish and get it back. Something really important, huh? It wouldn't be too hard to catch an inanimate object, but there's no telling when you'd catch a living fish. Yeah, but I'll catch it. I'll be staying right here until I do. Once I've done that, though, I'll come, I'll come and join you. How about that? Well, I could try and help you catch it. Remember, I know how to fish, and we've, we're bound to increase our odds by catching of catching it with two fishermen, right? You mean it? 
<laughs> great. Uh, thanks. That'd be great. The fish I'm after is a gluttonous bass. True to the name, it swallows anything you can get its big mouth around. Gluttonous bass, huh? Yeah, I can keep an eye out. Okay. Um, this spot looks perfect for fishing. Way out there, huh? huh. Alright, um, I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit. We just... Oh, okay. We immediately got it. Cool. Um, I need to do the rest of the fishing, though. And Kenneth, look. This fish had a necklace in its mouth. Whoa, nice work, Reen. You caught our fish way faster than I expected. Mind if I take a closer look? Reen handed Kenneth the coughed-up necklace. This is it. This is her necklace. <laughs> I'm so happy I was able to recover it. Or that you were able to. Who's her? I was under the impression that we were looking for something of yours. No, oh, I thought I told you already. I guess not. It's Annabelle's. Annabelle's? That's right. It's a memento, it's a memento of her grandmother. She dropped it in the river, river while we were running away together. So I thought I'd come back and see if I could find it for her. That's awfully ambitious. Still, I couldn't be happier that you caught this for me. I better go give it back, shouldn't I? Hop on the Courageous and we'll give you a lift. We'll be in Ymir before you know it. <laughs> well, when you put it like that. All right. Off to Ymir. I wanted to fish more. Kenneth happily boarded the Courageous, and together they made their way to Annabelle's Inn in Ymir. I mean, it's not her inn. Kenneth handed the necklace over to Annabelle. Yes, this is it. This is Grandmother's necklace. Huh, <laughs> what a relief. Mission complete. I'm glad you were able to get it back. Take care to not let it be consumed by a fish again. Thank you so, so much, all of you. Reen's the one who deserves all the thanks. He's the one who caught the fish that, that had swallowed it. It was honestly just luck that I caught it before you did. I bet if we hadn't shown up when we did, you'd have caught it yourself just fine without me. <laughs> I'd like to believe I would have, at least. Uh, regardless, with this necklace, I am now free to leave here whenever I wish. Let me take this opportunity to thank you for your, for your advice too, Kenneth. <laughs> I didn't do anything major, honestly. I hope you managed to sort out the whole engagement issue, though. Yes, so do I. Sounds like this is a personal matter we shouldn't intrude in. Anyway, I guess this means it's finally time for me to join you guys in the Courageous. I've got to repay you all, repay you for all you've done for me and all that. We'll be happy to help to have you with us. Kenneth is welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. <laughs> Why can't I talk? Call the Courageous. Return to the Courageous. Oh, I guess I could have checked for snowboarding. I probably should have done that. Um, no, oh well. Where do you want to go? <laughs> we'll do that later. Okay. Um, we would like to go to the to barrier. Because we're looking for Margarita. Oh, hi, Monk. Oh, Rex. Sorry, Rex. I don't know why I thought I was. I was I got confused. I'm sorry. <laughs> we had already recruited uh, Monk. I got the RMP to drop me off at Ruer and made my way here to check on things. Sounds like the bat battle was pretty wild. I'm surprised you guys made it out of there with all your fingers and toes. You guys are straight up miracle workers. <sighs> I wish I could say that's true. Did something happen? Hey, uh, I'm not gonna pry or anything, but just don't want to get you too down, okay? If it'd cheer you up, I could show you my top secret cuties of the RMP collection. Uh, no thanks. <laughs> I appreciate the thought, but maybe you should keep that hidden. That might be a good idea. But I do have something you could look at in public. 
check out this novel I read. Uh, I read. <laughs> You'd be amazed how quick a book can make time go when you're traveling. Maybe it'll come in handy for you, too. Gambler Jack 2, Chapter 11. This I will take you up on. Thanks. Okay. Cool. Margarita! Oh, you came to visit me again. How truly chivalrous, chivalrous of you. I'm glad you're still... You... <sighs> what is my brain? Uh, <laughs> glad to see you're still hanging in there, Margarita. I was a little worried, given the massive battle that just took place here and all. <laughs> I was witness to the whole thing. It was truly a stunning sight. You and that knight of yours were, dare I say, dashing. Though not quite as dashing as my one and only Vincent, of course. Th thanks. Who is... really? Uh, when will we finally be able to see each other again? I think of him every moment of, uh, of every day, and yet cruel fate continues to tear us apart. <sighs> I was going to invite her to join the Courageous, but it doesn't seem right when she's so down in the dumps. Maybe someone who knows her better than I do would be able to cheer her up. Someone from your club, maybe. I'm sorry, what club is she in again? No, she's a cooking club. Who's in the freaking cooking club? Um, lacrosse, wind orchestra, swimming, lower class chess club, literature, riding, gardening, art, cooking, Milliam! Okay, let's... Oh, I gotta go outside to call Milliam. <laughs> oh, no, I was just pressing the wrong freaking button. <laughs> I'm so smart. Okay. Um, Milliam! Uh, how long must, must we be apart? Why must fate conspire against those who are so much in love? Why must it be so cruel? Huh? <sighs> huh? When did you turn into a big old damsel in distress? This isn't the margarita I know. The margarita I knew was fun. Fun? Just what are you implying? Well, first of all, the margarita I know never gives up. And when she sees something she wants, she takes it. I mean, none of my other friends ever mixed shady drugs into food to get people to fall for them. <laughs> just, just out in the open like that. <laughs> <laughs> no! And nobody else spent entire days stalking the guys they liked and blocking their escape routes. She's the kind of girl who'd jump into hell and take the place over in a second if she thought Vincent was hiding down there. W well, I... Wait, is this list of crimes supposed to be a pep talk? Anyway, you see what I mean? That's the margarita I know from back at Thor's. But now, now I see this margarita sitting around, waiting for Vincent to come to her. That's no fun at all. But I guess that's none of my business. I'm just a little bit let down, is all. You... You know, you are absolutely right. Love is a battle. A bloody, uh... Protracted? Protracted. I don't know what that word means in that context. Uh, no holds barred battle that you have to fight for yourself. I really don't like where this is going. <laughs> Consider yourselves lucky. From this day forth, I will be by your side, offering my valuable assistance. I'll go out and hunt down my beloved Vincent myself. Then I'll never, ever let him escape at my embrace again. There she is. There's the margarita I know. Good to have you back. <laughs> See? This is already way more fun. Oh no. Milliam's reawakened the beast. I'm sorry, Vincent. I'll keep you in my prayers. True. Okay! Great! <laughs> okay, I believe that's all we need to do over here. Uh, I'll deal with fishing... 
at that spot we found Kenneth at. Um, afterwards, after because uh, that's that's gonna be the shrine that we go to because we haven't actually been into that one. Where do you want to go? So that's the one I would like to go into. Uh, we're gonna go back to Ymir because while I was there, I completely forgot that we also need to talk to the traders in Plover. Who's in, in who's in charge? Hey, Lord Reen, can I get you something? Actually, there's something I'd like to talk to you about. Reen told him about Kleist and Co's commerce network. Forming a network with a big company from Heimdall, huh? That sounds like a pretty good idea, actually. We're having a hard time getting stuff in lately, but it's clear we aren't the only ones. Working together on a common problem sounds like a great way to go forward. So that means... Think I can have a look at that contract? Leo read and, apparently pleased, signed the contract. Thanks for bringing this to me. Oh, and while you're here, come by and play with Alf again if you've, if you've got the time. He misses you. We appreciate we appreciate your cooperation, and I'll definitely swing by when all this is over. That just leaves the shop in Legram. True. But it also leaves a thing that is absolutely not necessary, but I want to do it anyway. So we're gonna end the episode with some snowboarding. Yeah, yeah. Twenty oh twenty two of twenty two. Oh, we have to be perfect. Great. <laughs> Two. Trixie, Trixie. Three, four, five. Six. <laughs> seven. Eight. Nine. Ha! Jump over. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. They're gonna be tricksy. Thirteen, fourteen, perfect. Fifteen. I feel like I'm slowing down. It's not good. Okay, that cut it a little bit close, but we're good. <laughs> All right, cool. I did it. No record. All right, amazing. You're a natural at this. Well, here's your prize. Go ahead, take it. Enchantment, you say? Oh, and take this too. This new board I got in recently. Eastern board. Select board in the course menu is now available. The difference between boards is purely cosmetic, so feel free to choose based on your personal preference. Okay, cool. Well, that is going to be it for this episode, so next time we will be heading off to Legram to talk to the shop owners there. Um, I think we can also actually do a new set of blades of game. Uh, games of blade, sorry. I don't... What is my brain? What is my brain? Um, so we're gonna probably do that next episode as well so look forward to that we'll be finishing up Hugo's thing and then I think we're moving on to the shrine uh, thing so um, look forward to that uh, actually hold on oh there's there's still a monster somewhere as well um, so we gotta go figure that out too uh, but for now that is it so thank you all so much for watching if you enjoyed this episode please let me know down in the comments below and maybe leave a like and if you want to catch the next episode as it comes out, go ahead and hit subscribe. But for now, that is it, so see ya!